What is school culture and its role in the teaching and learning process? This is what we are going to discuss today. Hello everyone, welcome to Joyce University and today I'll be discussing one of the topics in the subject, the teacher and the community, school culture and organizational leadership. And that topic is creating a positive school culture, right? I will be dividing this lecture series into three videos. The first part will be the definition of school culture, school climate, as well as the role school culture uh, plays in the teaching and learning process. The second and the third parts will be the different elements in positive school culture, alright? Now, I, I know a lot of teachers, I, I have a lot of friends who decided to stay um, in or resign from their, you know, their work or in a certain school, not because of the, of the salary that they receive, but because of the culture that they experience within the school. But what is school culture? Um, school culture is a character that gives the school qualities beyond its structure, its resources, or its practices. Meaning, the school culture goes beyond the physical structure of a student school. It's more than that. And according to Spacey, school culture consists of the norms and shared experiences that evolve over school's history. So everything that the that the employees or the students or the parents or the administrators or the staff would experience in school, all practices that they share, all right, even uh, the beliefs that they share, they are all parts and parcel of school culture. In fact, according to Scott and Manzano 2014, school culture is reinforced by norms, expectations, and traditions including from the dress codes to discipline systems to celebrations of various achievements all right so everything that happens in school this is all um, school culture from the traditions it says there by scott and marzano from the dress code from the discipline system from uh, the relationship of everyone that is part of the school community to the celebrations of various achievements or um, or of failures, all right, they all are part of the school culture. That is why school culture is created by all people in the school. The school culture is not just a product of a certain group in a certain school community, but is the byproduct of everyone that are involved um, in the teaching and learning process or every member of the school community. And another thing that we have to note about school culture, it says there, it is a social construct, meaning it is something that we create based on what we feel, based on what we experience, based on how we deal with everyone in the community, and it is something that is shaped really by everyone in the school community. So whatever it is that we experience in our workplace, all right, whatever um, traditions that we have in our workplace, these are all products of our collaborative effort. So if what we experience in the school is positive, then that is the product of the joint effort of everyone in the community. But if what you experience in the school is nothing but negative um, experience, all right, then, or negative things, then that is the product of everyone, okay, in that school community. That is why it is a social construct. It is not a genetic construct. When we say genetic construct, it's something that we inherited. A culture that is based on, on the people involved, all right? It's not something that we inherited. It is something that we created, that everyone in the school community that's why a school culture could be positive or could be negative depending on the traditions, on the beliefs, on the practices, even on the perceptions of everyone in the school community. Um, and the school culture, since it's, it may be positive or it may be negative, 
it could actually facilitate learning or it could, could even adversely affect learning. It could either facilitate or adversely affect learning because a school community must therefore strive to create a positive school culture. Right? Because it affects positively or negatively the learning process. That's why everyone in the school community must strive to make sure that the school culture that we have in our own workplace is positive and is positively affecting everyone who are in it. All right? Now, what is the difference of school climate and that of the school culture? A school culture is a lot broader than the school climate because school climate is under the umbrella of the school culture. All right? And the school climate contributes to the positivity or to the negativity of the school culture. Now, if school culture is not genetic, it's more of a social construct. A school climate, on the other hand, is more relational. All right? It affects the relationship that exists between and among the members of the teaching community. From the administration to the faculty to the staff and to the students. The, the relationship that is existing between and among them, all right, uh, would, um, would lead to a, a positive or a negative school climate. And the school climate is illustrated by the attitude and the behavior of the school staff and is focused on the style of the school's organizational system. That's why it's more relational. It deals with the relationship of everyone in that teaching community. That is why it says there, the school climate refers to the school's effects on students including the teaching practices, the diversity, and the relationship between and among the members of a certain um, school community. So it could be about the teaching practices, it could be about the diversity, the differences, the similarities of everyone in the school community, so that's school climate. And another thing, is school climate, it says there, is driven by and reflected in the daily interactions of staff, administration, faculty, students, support staff, and the all the... Uh, the members of the school community, whether they are inside of the school campus or they are outside of the parents and the stakeholders for that matter. So it is driven and reflected in the daily interactions. That's why it's relational. It's, um, it actually deals with how you interact with everyone in the school community. That's why it says there, um, school culture is a lot deeper because it tells us uh, about the reflection of the shared values, the shared values not merely on the relationship, but on the values that we share, on the beliefs and on the traditions that are being practiced by everyone in the school community. All right, so school culture refers therefore to the way teachers and other staff work together as well as uh, to the, in the practice of, their, of the set of beliefs and of values and the assumptions that they actually share. And like what I said, okay, I would like to reiterate this one. A school climate is under the umbrella of school culture. Positive school climate or positive relationship of everyone in the community would really affect positively school culture in general. But what is the role of school culture in learning? First, it is um, a fact that school culture really matters. Right? It is important uh, to take into consideration the kind of culture the school provides to everyone in the workplace. So if there is a positive school culture, then that could lead to school's success. Okay, Positive school culture would mean success to the school. That's why, um, like what I said, school culture could be positive, it could be negative, or it could be toxic. That depends on the members of the school community. But if you really would want, if the members of the school community would really want to experience success in the school, all right, then it is their duty to create a positive school culture. All right, another. 
positive school culture could also foster improvement. Improvement not only of the students but of the teachers and everyone in the community because there is collaboration as regards decision making and everyone, if there is a positive school culture, everyone is encouraged to, uh, to grow professionally and personally, alright? And everyone is encouraged to give the best in whatever they do, okay? Because they are, uh, they, they feel that they are important. They feel that whatever contributions they may give would uh, positively affect, okay, the, the, the growth of the school. And vice versa, the negative school culture could also foster uh, the opposite, okay? If you are a member of a certain school community and you do not feel accepted, uh, you are not comfortable in your space, um, you are not being trusted by everyone in the community or there are a lot of things that are going on which are beyond your control and you are not happy, then you expect that you cannot perform well in the school community. A certain employee can only perform well, can only give the best of what he or she can give if this employee feels trusted, if this em employee is um, experiencing positive all right aura positive environment positive culture that um other members of the school community was would actually give him okay so um very good employee could mean very good school culture okay so those are the different things i would like to reiterate as regards school climate school culture and the role of this positive school culture in learning and i would like to uh, and as for my final note, okay, if you're a member of a teaching community and you would want to get the best output from, from everyone, right, from your students, from your co-teachers, from your administrators, from the parents, then you have to make sure that you also give the best of what you can okay? Do not expect to get the best from people around you if you are not giving the best. Okay, so good. Uh, they say you reap what you saw. So if you um, if you are planting good seeds in your school community, you expect that you also have very good harvests. Okay, so these are what we, I would like to reiterate in this particular video. Thank you, and see you in the part two, which I'll be discussing the different elements of. Goodbye. See you next time.